Very good. Come on. Now you're becoming a king of block. That's it. This is what yeah, happens yeah, when you yeah, play yeah, a view. Yeah. You've taught me all your tricks. <laughs> What's going on guys? Last month I set off on my travels to Saarbrücken Table Tennis Club in Germany to hang out with the table tennis icon that is Vladimir Samsonov and to test out his personal bat setup. Vladi is simply a legend, a former world number one and alongside his other amazing achievements he was able to remain inside the world top 10 rankings for an incredible 15 years straight. Alongside this he's also won three European championships and three world cup championships. Vladimir uses T-Bar's most popular rubber, the Evolution MXP, combined with his signature blade, the Vladimir Samsonov Unlimited. So a few quick specs then before we watch the master in action. The Samsonov Unlimited is a 7 ply carbon blade which comes in at 85 grams. The MXP is a medium to hard rubber coming in at 47 degrees in sponge hardness and weighs 74 grams. So that's our bat set up, let's get stuck in. Okay guys, so Vladi is known for his incredible touch and ridiculous feeling for the ball. Check this out, I've never felt so uncomfortable. Uh. <laughs> 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 it's just amazing how easy Vladimir makes table tennis look. I'm literally giving my absolute all here. He seems like he's just got so much time for the ball. Oh. Ah! <laughs> when you chose your blade, what were you looking for? What are you trying to get from a blade? I think it's a combination. Combination of uh, speed, control, also uh, possibilities to give more rotation mm -hmm. if you play topspin. But again, you have to look at the blade and at the rubbers yeah. at the same time, yeah. It's interesting what Vladimir says here. It's not just about either the blade or the rubber, it's the combination between the two and how you feel with it. Now, with the MXP, it is a very fast rubber, one of the fastest out there. Because of this, if you pair it with a very stiff blade, it can feel quite hard to control. So I can see why Vladimir is using this combination, as the VS Unlimited does have a nice amount of flex to it, which gave me great consistency in my shots. <laughs> It's on, the camera's got it on. Whoa! <laughs> the camera block's better than me. Yeah, camera was quite good actually. <laughs> Speaking of blocks, this setup is really, really nice for blocking, especially for a carbon blade. The blade provides ample dwell that gives you good stability when you're on the back foot and under pressure. Yeah. Oh, nice! <laughs> Very good. Come on! Now you're becoming a king of block. That's it, this is what happens yeah, when you play yeah, yeah. a view. You've taught me all your tricks. <laughs> Another absolute highlight of Vladimir Samsonov's game is the pure quality and spin he's able to generate during top spins. It is ridiculous and extremely deceptive. It looks like he's not putting much effort into the shot, but they're absolutely loaded with spin. I blocked out so many times because of this. And I think this is another reason why Vladimir likes this blade. It has enough dwell to generate extreme amounts of spin without being to the point where it's so soft that you can't produce enough power. That's how you find the body. So much top spin. You know, this is the thing. You're not always playing with 100% speed, but the spin is yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just no, insane. I, I can imagine it can be difficult, you know, for the opponent if the ball, you know, some, sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slower, but yeah. with more spin. It's very deceptive as well. That's what I think is important in the game. You yeah. Know? If you always play with the same rotation, it's quite easy for the opponent. You know? Sure. If there is a difference. Maybe it even looks like almost the same movement, you know? Yeah. But there is a difference in this rotation. There's a big it's difference. Very, it's very difficult. <laughs> Try sometimes to play a bit 
maybe slower but with more spin yeah not always fast just try one once and fast one maybe a little slow with more rotation just try <laughs> Yes! Ooh, spin! Ooh, oh. Here I'm trying out some different serves and receives and the setup it works really well in general. The only area where you can feel a little bit responsive with the blade is on the receive. It, it is quite fast the MXP so in the serve receive you do have to have a good feeling, good touch for the ball as it is a very fast rubber but where it really excels is the control in the open rally. Oh. Oh, come on! Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Heavy! It's like a machine. <laughs> I just you just know it's not it's always gonna come back. Uh, <laughs> good, good. I wish it worse, but <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I saw it. Good. <laughs> yeah, it good. No, I really didn't expect it. Yeah. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> A donkey. Donkey of the day. Now, I said in the review that Vladimir has ridiculous amounts of feeling and control. It was one hell of an experience to play against him, so a massive thanks to Vladimir for his time and to try out his bat. So guys, the VS Unlimited Blade, let's see how it stacks up to others and get to the TTD ratings. So guys, straight off the bat here, we can see that we're hitting eights throughout. This blade is super all round, it's so well balanced. You know, the speed here, we've got 8.2. Now it's not the fastest blade in the world, because it's got good flex, it's got nice control. And also with the, the limber outer ply, it's not super hard. So the blade is a touch soft, which doesn't make it as fast as let's say something like a bow ALC with Koto outer ply. So because it's got nice flex, it's got a lot of control. And that's what Vladimir looks for in his game. You know, he's got good touch play, good feeling, likes to block and counter. So this is the type of blade for him that's, that suits his game. So we put top spins here at 8.5. As I said in the review, very consistent with the top spins. The combination of the speed and control ratio is, is very good. So you feel very stable in your strokes. Blocks, again, very high, 8.2, really good feeling. Now flat hits at eight. It's not the best at flat hits because there is a bit of flex to it. So it's not coming off super hard and fast. Like let's say you get with a Primarac Carbon or a Legacy Blade, you can feel that a lot more in, in the flat hits and smashes, but again, a lot of control and yeah and the serve receive does very well it holds up very well it's you know it's not again with this blade nothing really stands out crazy and I think that's what is the advantage to this blade is that it's very solid in all departments so the VS Unlimited it comes in at 180 euros pretty steep price point and as we've seen lately manufacturers are bumping up their prices quite a lot and this is one of T-Bar's flagship blades now where it does slightly lack for me at times when you're going for all out top spins, it can lack in terms of that crisp feeling you may get from a blade like a, a Viscaria for example, where there's more of a, a zip to it on the top end. But again, as we've mentioned throughout, the advantages of this is its control and that is so well balanced. And that, that's what you're gonna get with a blade like this, the VS Unlimited. Overall, I really like what Tebow have done here with Vladimir Samsonov's blade. It really does do his name justice. It's just a fantastic all-round balanced carbon blade. Now guys, hope you enjoyed the review. Let us know what you thought of it and be sure to let us know in the comments below what other rubbers and blades you'd like to see us review in the future. For now, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.